Hello there, I'm Chernot. Welcome to our channel. Today we have come up with a collection of amazing do-it-yourself old tire crafts. This video contains a collection of amazing do-it-yourself old tire crafts or recycled tire crafts which you can easily copy and duplicate at your own workshop. Pick your favorite design and try to make it at home or show it to your local workshop so that they can make one for you. You can even turn these plants into a lucrative small scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. A tire is a ring shaped component that surrounds a wheel's rim to transfer a vehicle's load from the axle through the wheel to the ground and to provide traction on the surface over which the wheel travels. Most tires, such as those for automobiles and bicycles, are pneumatically inflated structures which also provide a flexible cushion that absorbs shock as the tire rolls over rough features on the surface. Tires provide a footprint called a contact patch that is designed to match the weight of the vehicle with the bearing strength of the surface that it rolls over by providing a bearing pressure that will not deform the surface excessively. The materials of modern pneumatic tires are synthetic rubber, natural rubber, fabric and wire, along with carbon black and other chemical compounds. They consist of a tread and a body. The tread provides traction, while the body provides containment for a quantity of compressed air. Before rubber was developed, the first versions of tires were simply bands of metal fitted around wooden wheels to prevent wear and tear. Early rubber tires were solid or not pneumatic. Pneumatic tires are used on many types of vehicles including cars, bicycles, motorcycles, buses, trucks, heavy equipment and aircraft. Metal tires are still used on locomotives and rail cars, and solid rubber or other polymer tires are still used in various non-automotive applications such as some casters, carts, lawn mowers and wheelbarrows. Shredded tires can create rubber mulch on playgrounds to, minish, to diminish fall injuries. There are some green buildings that are being made both private and public buildings that are made from old tires. The tire pyrolysis method of recycl for recycling used tires is a technique which heats whole or shredded tires in a reactor vessel containing an oxygen-free atmosphere and a heat source. In the reactor, the rubber is softened after which the rubber polymers continuously break down into smaller molecules. Other downstream uses have been developed for worn out tires including building elements. Tires filled with earth have been used as garden containers, house foundations, bulletproof walls, and to prevent soil erosion in floodplains. Recreational equipment. Used tires are employed as exercise equipment for athletic programs such as American football. One classic conditioning drill that hones that players' speed and agility is a tire run, where tires are laid out side by side 
with each tire on the left of a few inches ahead of the tire on the right in a zigzag pattern. Athletes then run through the tire pattern by stepping in the center of each tire. The drill forces athletes to lift their feet above the ground higher than normal to avoid tripping on the tire. All tires are sometimes converted into a swing for play. Tire recycling or rubber recycling is the process of recycling waste tires that are no longer suitable for use on vehicles due to wear or irreparable damage. These tires are a challenging source of waste due to the large volume produced, the durability of the tire and the components in the tire that are ecologically problematic. Because tires are highly durable and non-biodegradable, they can consume valuable space in landfills. In 1999, it was estimated that over 1 billion scrap tires were stockpiles in the United States. Newer technologies such as pyrolysis and devulcanization has made tires suitable targets for recycling despite their bulk and resilience. Aside from use as fuel, the main end use of tires remains ground rubber. Landfill Disposal Tires are not desired as landfills due to their large volumes and 75% void space. Tires can trap methane gases, causing them to become buoyant or bubble to the surface. This bubbling effect can damage landfill liners that have been installed to help keep landfill contaminants from polluting local surface and groundwater. Shredded tires are now being used in landfills, replacing other construction materials for a lightweight backfill in gas venting systems, lichate collection systems, and operational liners. Shredded tire materials may also be used to cap, close, or daily cover landfill sites. Scrap tires as a backfill and cover material are also more cost-effective, since tires can be shredded on site instead of hauling in other fill materials. Stockpiles and legal dumping Tire stockpiles create a great health and safety risk. Tire fires can occur easily, burning for months and creating substantial pollution in the air and ground. Recycling helps us to reduce the number of tires in storage. An additional health risk, tire piles provide harbor for vermin and a breeding ground for mosquitoes that, are, that may carry diseases. Also, tires are usually burned, not recycled. Efforts are continuing to find valuable value for used tires. Efforts have been made to use recycled tires as raw materials for new tires. But such tires may integrate recycled materials no more than 5% by weight, and tires that contain recycled materials are inferior to new tires, suffering from reduced tread life and lower traction. Tires have also been cut up and used in garden beds as bark mulch to hold in the water and to prevent weeds from growing. Some green buildings, both private and public, have been made from old tires. Tires can be used as construction materials, as artificial reefs, and so on. Old tires that are sometimes converted into a swing for playgrounds. The innovative use allows for an easy way to find a purpose for an existing old tire not suitable for road use. Used tires are also employed in exercise equipment for athletic programs. Repurposed tires can also be harnessed as an affordable alternative building material. Rows of, stack, rows of stacks of tires are often used as barriers in motor racing circuits. 
as a method of dissipating kinetic energy over a longer period of time during a crush, comparatively to striking a less malleable material such as concrete or steel wall. Many cattle farms repurpose old tractor tires as water, water troughs for their cattle by placing them over natural springs or by piping a stream water into them. These tires contain the water and allow it to pull for the cattle without any additional interaction from the farmer. As you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of amazing do-it-yourself old tire craft ideas for your inspiration. If you like such content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also smash that notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.